Now that you've drawn your three boxes, we are going to add some fun architectural kind of things to them. First, we're gonna add a door. So you want those vertical lines parallel with your other vertical lines for however wide you want it and then make the top go to the same vanishing point um, that your top and bottom of your plane are going to. And you can add a width to your door just to make it look a little bit more realistic and to show that there's some depth to that wall. Now I'm adding a little shading on that depth just to make it uh, be a little different. Next we had a window and it's the same concept. Um, orthogonals need to go to the same um, vanishing point, parallel verticals, and now I'm just kind of eyeballing the center and just making little panes of glass. You can add depth to your window just like you did on the door also. So to add siding or like wood shingles or whatever, you want to make even measurements going down that original corner of your box. And then on the left side of your box, draw orthogonals going to the left vanishing point, and then repeat with the other side of your box. And we're lining up our ruler on those measurements we made. And on this side, we're going to the right vanishing point. So make sure those are all going to the vanishing point. And now, um, if you want to, you can divide up those planks some. So I'm going to show you how to kind of do bricks here, or if you want to do like more even shingles, you just make a vertical, parallel vertical line on every other section. And you can kind of get that brick effect or like that, like nice neat wood shingle effect. You could also, and I'm showing you on this side, you can also do it kind of random and scattered so it looks like a little bit more like rustic or um, just not so uniform. So just kind of break up your little shingles. And that's all I'm gonna show you out of how to do that because you guys get the idea. On this bottom box, we're gonna add a peaked roof. So decide which plane you want your roof peak coming off of. So I'm gonna do it off the that, uh, left plane. First, you want to find the center of that plane, so connect your corners of that plane. And at the intersection of that X is the center of your plane. So take your ruler and draw a straight line up off of that point, and that um, will be for however high you want your peak to be. And then just connect the corners of the box to that peak height. Draw that roof line back to the vanishing point. And then to close off that roof, we want to have a parallel angle, but on the back of that roof. So here it is again. Just slide it back. You get that same angle, making sure it's parallel. And now I'm just going to erase all my little working lines because we're not making a see-through box. And then I'm going to show you how to take that um, tile or shingle concept and apply it to your roof. So you'll start off with the same way that you did on those um, house shingles. You wanna have even increments going down the edge of your roof and then having those lines going back to the vanishing point. And then you could either do staggered lines or more uniform looking like a brick pattern kind of lines. You're going to make those lines parallel to that angle in the roof, which you can see I kind of messed up here, so I'm trying to correct it. So you want those angles all parallel. So now I'm just repeating the concept of putting on a door. So I have the width of my door, and then I'm drawing the top of it to that vanishing point that goes on that same plane. And since it's below our eye line, we will only see the depth of the door on the side. We won't see the top. Now I'm drawing a little window. And here I'm just drawing the um, depth of that window. And this is the correct way to find that, um, unlike I did on the top window. See, you can see I realized I screwed up. 
So now I'm adding the vertical depth. Now I'm adding that depth going to the uh, vanishing point, and then I connect the corners together. That's how you do it. Not like the one on the doorway I did. It looks correct, but I didn't do it correctly. So once you draw all of those architectural elements to your boxes, go ahead and take a screenshot and submit it to Canvas. All right, hope you had fun. Thank you.